Here's why patients should get a second opinion. This patient was having severe radiating pain down the right arm due to a herniated disc in the neck. After undergoing a disc replacement surgery by another surgeon, the pain resolved successfully. But a few months later, the patient started having the exact same pain, but this time it was radiating into the opposite left arm. This is when the patient came to see me for a second opinion. I noticed that when the patient would look up, that would worsen the pain. So I checked an x-ray of the spine from the side with the patient looking up. In that position, you can see that the disc replacement device was sliding backwards with an abnormal overhang. This should not be happening. Also, here's an x-ray of the spine looking from the front. You can see that the gap on the left side is narrower compared to the gap on the right side. These are both signs of dynamic instability. The unstable disc replacement device was compressing the left C6 nerve. So here's how I fix this problem. First, I removed the disc replacement device, then I decompressed the C6 nerve right over here, and then I performed an anterior cervical fusion using cadaver bone graft, plate, and screws to stabilize the spine. After surgery, the patient's left-sided arm pain resolved completely, and they made an excellent recovery. Sometimes a seemingly complex problem just needs a simple fix.